And then here we have our little color chart. So I'm going to do this one with the full process. And the second one, I've cheated and already done it beforehand, but I'll show you exactly what we do here. So at the moment, I am seeing, because my monitor is calibrated, my eyes are seeing exactly what the computer is showing. So if I looked at this in five different calibrated identical monitors, it all looked the same. The problem is at this stage, my camera is not seeing correctly. So I'm going to come in here, grab my little white balance tool, and this will be the same on the uh, Adobe Lightroom. Take a, a white balance. Now, this is the only tricky bit. You have to go to linear response. You come into this bit here, the ICC profile, which is what we're going to change. And we're going to go to no color correction. And what you end up with is the most bland and mundane image you've ever seen. But don't panic. This is part of the process. We're then going to sneak up here to export. And we're going to export it as a 16-bit TIFF. So we'll export that. And out goes our image. So I am now going to come into the software that comes for free with the color checker. I'm going to get our lovely TIFF file. Let's just go to my desktop. Uh, live. Here it is. I'm going to drag this into here. There we go. And then all we need to do is drag these squares so they're actually covering the right area. It does a pretty good job of finding it because I shot this at such a bizarre angle. I'm just going to tweak it a little bit. I like to get them as centered as possible, just so we're definitely getting a good, a good mix in there. Let's just pull this brown one down a little bit. So at this stage here, we've got this neutral profile of an image. And this software is about to tell my camera what these colors should be. So when you look on the screen at the moment, they look quite flat. And this stage here is going right. Here's what you should be seeing. Let's tell the camera to see that. So that's what this stage is. It's very important. Unless you happen to be a wizard at remembering colors, this is the, the best way to do it. So we're going to go to calibrate. And we'll call this sardines test. There we go. We'll save that profile. So there's a little bit of wizardry here. It saves it into your profiles folder, which is predetermined by your software. You don't need to do any like magic at this stage. Let's give that a couple of moments to pull through. And then all we do after this is we close the software down and reopen it so it finds the profile. Thankfully for you, I've done that in advance and I've already made the profile, but we'll just quickly put it in. But you do have to close it, shut capture one down fully, and then reopen it for it to be able to find the correct ICC profile. Okay, it's just doing its magic. Oh, there we go, it's successful. Okay. So we'll pretend I've closed it down. We'll now come into here where it says ICC profiles. And then we're going to other, and then we'll click on my sardine. And if we just do the before and after, that's what the camera thought it saw. That's what it actually saw. Now, this is where things are hard to explain. So I'm showing you the difference on here, but you're looking probably on an uncalibrated monitor. Now I know what I'm seeing is correct. So I've just calibrated, but I think as a worst case scenario, this is definitely the first port of call. At least if you go, if I don't touch the colors, at least they're right, even if they look wrong. But I like to look at the right colors as well. So we've got our right colors in here. So what I'm going to do now is copy this. And I think it's called Sync in Adobe Lightroom. And then I'm going to apply it here. There we go. So now we've got the correct colors on our file.